Hello and welcome back. OK, I've had a delivery. This box should contain a soldering hot plate and I'm going to open it up in a minute. But over the course of my CPU build, I've used multiple soldering techniques. Firstly, I started off with drag soldering using the hand soldering iron. And then I progressed on to using the hot air gun in order to do reflow. And I think it would be a good idea to try and extend that further and look at uh, soldering with a hot plate. OK, so this box is interesting. First thing I noticed was the plug is actually poking out the bottom. Now, our British plugs, they are slightly larger than a lot of other types, so that's probably why they've not taken account of it. Some tweezers. OK, so that bad packaging has meant that the plug's actually been broken. So this cable's uh, either needs a new plug or probably needs to be thrown out. Obviously, this is the kind of connector that we all have lots of. It does look like quite a nice device. No external damage that I can see. Now, I'm not going to pull it apart. But anything like this, I do at least check that there is a connection from Earth. That's good. These screws give me a connection to ground, which implies the case is grounded, but these ones don't. I wonder if it's just the enamel here is, uh, is good. One thing I will do before I turn it on is give it a good clean with isopropyl alcohol. Got no idea what residual might be on the surface before you heat it up. OK, let's try turning this on and see what happens. Well, it's definitely warming up. Interesting to know how quickly it cools down. Now these devices are designed for preheating rather than actual soldering, although lots of people do use them for small soldering jobs, which is what I'm planning to do. But to give this a better test, we want to actually try some soldering. And I especially want to give it a, a test before I use any particularly expensive components. Now, Regular channel viewers will know I've made a mistake on this tarmac PCB. So I've already got a fixed version on its way. But um, knowing I've got to resolder one of these, I think it's going to be a good first PCB to, uh, to try out on this. And for now, what I'm going to do is just do a few passive components and see if we can get them to solder well without putting any of the chips on. I've grabbed a few caps of both 0805 and 1206. I'm going to use those in these LED spaces. So one remaining question we've got is the correct temperatures for this. I tend to go notably hotter than I need for the hot air, but uh, probably need to be a bit more specific with this. So here's the data sheet for this particular solder. Right, so the reflow graph has us going up to 235. Probably need to put the hot plate a bit above that. Let's give it a try though. I'm going to give these tweezers that came with it a go.
I'm keen to see if the behaviour of these things on the resistor arrays is any better. So the positioning of everything is a bit more awkward than I would normally do for this pick and place. Right, we need to set the temperature here. I'm setting that to be 250. Now I have been warned that uh, this isn't going to cool down as quickly as it should do, so we will need to take it off when it gets uh, high enough. Seeing a little bit of smoke coming off the side surface now. Okay, I'm seeing some of those solder blobs liquefy now. So at a guess, we need to come down from 250. Okay, it's done a great job on those uh, resistor arrays by the looks of it. Though I suspect the fact that I had a lot less solder on them was a big help as well. Yeah, everything here is a lot better than what we've seen before. Okay, as I test, I'm really pleased with this. Okay, I'm extremely pleased with the results of this as a first test. It's like the quality of this soldering seems to be quite a big step up from what I've been doing with the hot air, which in itself was a big step up from what I was doing with the hand soldering. So now I'm quite looking forward to having a crack at the replacement tile mat board and see how we go. Okay, hope you found this interesting and hopefully I'll be back soon with uh, the proper fix video. Goodbye.